I used to see posters. That's when I used to see posters. So, uh, from so you were hmm. doing your first... <laughs> okay, yeah, yeah. Lady will save. Okay, okay, we're trying to figure out how to use the DVD recorder. Because yeah. we're all... We, Isaac knows <laughs> we know how to make them, yeah. but not, not how to play them. Um, okay, so I, I'm Alan Hoffmanis, or Alan Sali Oyenchima Musaja Wakabaka and Nathani Isamuganda. Uh, with uh, Isaac Nabwana Godfrey, uh, the founder of Ramon Film Productions, Wakalut. Yeah, there you are. <laughs> and, and there's the place. Yeah. Yeah, we're we're on the right. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Next, <laughs> by police. <laughs> Why is it police, Isaac? Yeah, police is police, but uh, we hide it after using it into police because if you leave P there, it will be police, and anyone can bring a case. <laughs> think that it's it's a police <laughs> and because you are comedy people believe it <laughs> yeah. i remember one uh, one of the policemen uh, came here and she she was a lady anyway. she said that her, you know you have a police a police post here she's the head of that wakaliga police post she she, she joked i think she was joking <laughs> <laughs> you should hire her right <laughs> that was the only shot in kampala yeah yeah, yeah that is uh, I think that is the only shot in this movie, but uh, I had already shot uh, some sort of, Cap of Captain Alex in Kampala during the demonstrations, uh, political demonstrations. At the end of the movie, yeah, all that. Yeah, yeah, those ones which I used in the movie. And so this is your living room? Yeah, that is it. Now, nowadays it is my studio now. It is the studio. That's where we partitioned and then we, uh, we made that Forex Bureau. I see that the walls of your own home is painted chroma key. <laughs> <laughs> So why don't you go to a real bank, Isaac? Yeah, it is not easy. It is not. Uh, it is. It can take you a year to get permission to use a bank here. People here don't understand movies. I mean, uh, if you want to act in their bank, and especially if you say that uh, you're going to act such a scene in the bank, they will say no. Our bank <laughs> people will, will fear to, <laughs> to bank with us. <laughs> <laughs> That is happening also to schools. If I want to act, act in schools, people say, no, 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 no. People might think that, you know, uh, someone stole a child, or if it's like a child st stealing or something like that. They say, no, 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 it can't be in our school. So they even don't know that we can hide the school or the bank name or something like that and we do a movie. So for them, they ignorant. It's, it's ignorance anyway. That was half the budget, by the way, that the glass, yeah? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but the budget, we, I think it's like sixty dollars. Yeah, of course, around that, around there. <laughs> yeah, there's Captain Alex. <laughs> so he's famous here. Yeah, yeah, he's he's he's. Uh, he also has a background of you know acting in on stage. Uh, in the nineties, I think in the nineties. So he's he's famous. He, I think he has acted with. Abi Muchivi and others on stage. So that's why he's famous. It's a, but the actors that, with Wakaliwood, but, uh, but they're like a different style. Yeah, of course, yeah. It, this is, for us, we don't do much of drama. And that is the fact it was like a, a conflict of understanding me with him. Sometimes he thinks that we, he, he used to argue that we should do it this way. And then I said, no, this way. Because for him, he knew that drama on stage. Uh, so, but and the good thing is he was respecting me. And he, he's my uncle. He's my, one of my uncles. And I respect him, but he was also respecting me. And I, he, he said, oh, let us do it the way you want. So, but he was much into drama and uh, music. Because many of the drama, because there's many actors in Uganda, but they're mostly drama. But, they, but they're not comfortable working with action. Yeah, I, I think they want to, uh, to, 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 they want action, to act in action. But the, but the problem is that uh, uh, they, have, they have much into drama and, in, and Hollywood, you know, and Hollywood dramas. And uh, they want to do it Hollywood. And they want to do it, you know, exactly how Hollywood does it. And for me, I, I always say no. Sometimes we have, we are, we are Ugandan, so we have to think. We have also to think our own, you know, style. So even if, yes, Hollywood might, we might have seen Hollywood because we're younger than Hollywood, but we have also to think. We don't have always say big budgets. We have to all say that, you know, you have to do it this way because it was done like this in the movie. I remember one person came, come, who came to me when I was doing the first movie which never came out, which I used to call my school days. It had vampires in there. So 
uh, I, I put a vampire on a, on a motorcycle. We call them border border here. So that person told me that no 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 I have never seen a vampire on on the border border. <laughs> I told him have you ever seen border border in America or elsewhere? The border borders are here. So vampires of Uganda should you know <laughs> use border borders. <laughs> so <laughs> people are, uh, even last 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 few months ago when I was editing Eaten Alive, someone came in and said, "What is this? People, what is, what are they doing?" They're screaming. This is not Hollywood. Hollywood doesn't do this. And then I said, this is not Hollywood. This is Wakaliwood. <laughs> so <laughs> he wants us to do. He said, you will remove the screaming because it's not done. This is not how it is, the way it is done. But I told him, no, this is not you know, Hollywood. It's us. It is us. And that's why we are here because he was my, he had visited me. He's a friend. He's a filmmaker in Uganda. But he came to visit me and, you know, to see how I do things. And then complained. Yeah, and complained. <laughs> So this is all this is all us meaning this is all your home. Yeah, that is my right compound. Where we're talking yeah, we're talking yeah, in the yeah, room right there. Yeah. <laughs> we're right there. That's, yeah, that's, that's where that, we are. That's, that's where. We are. Are. <laughs> <laughs> that's behind the room. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so this is this is the main location for the whole movie really. Yes, yeah, it is the biggest location I think in the movie. I, I don't remember if we went away from from here apart from the Lord where where the boy uh, yeah jumped off the, the car it is northern bypass we're back again yeah <laughs> he has to hold the gun with two hands because yeah. it's broken <laughs> yeah <laughs> he's always it's in two pieces <laughs> now they're all dying again isaac yeah. the same people <laughs> isaac and uh david he died so many times there he's an artist of death <laughs> of dying Yeah, that is Swazi. Yeah, whenever I see that scene, it reminds me of you know Swazi. Uh, Swazi, uh, I think he, he, he was inspired by Swazi nigga, and uh, <laughs> he—I <laughs> don't know how he did, but he captured Natete town, which is oh, nearby. This is there. a real person, you mean? Yeah, yeah, everyone. And uh, he called himself Swazi. He used to call himself Swazi, and then he captured the police, and he captured Natete for like 25 minutes. Until they brought in many, you know, patrols and everything, and uh, 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 they told us that even the police at Natet had it run the other direction to get him because they they didn't know how how many guns he had because one person <laughs> surrounded yeah, yeah, the yeah. village. <laughs> <laughs> the problem they didn't know if he's many or he's one. So and how many guns he has and where has he got the guns? They had already got the information that he has got them from you know policemen. So this uh, was like in 1980s. Yeah, I think it was uh, around uh, 2000. Around 2000. And you, you keep that in your head and now... It's yeah, 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 always. <laughs> See, this is back again, the same location. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So with, with the Subaru, when you flipped it, the owner, did he get upset? I heard like he thought that you really... Yeah, yeah, it. yeah. He was shocked when he saw it flipped. But because, in fact, he... he I, I, I is among the few Ugandans who can now uh, trust me uh, to give me you know their their cars uh, because he he knows now and <laughs> I can do it I can flip them without you know destroying them because no but one uh, will give you a Land Rover now y yeah because <laughs> <laughs> they see this if I got someone nowadays no no they say are, are you going to do it the way you did the Subaru or something no, no I say no <laughs> so the, but for him he trusts me now. I mean, it may be a bad mistake. I don't know. Uh, bad block. So this is based on the real person. Yeah, a, a lady. Uh, but at first there were blacks. Uh, there are some several, like six uh, black people who used the, the people who used to call themselves black. These are gangsters. Yeah, like, like local gangsters. gangsters. Yeah, like that. And uh, police chased them, and we. I have never heard that they got caught any of them, and I don't know how they disappeared. But uh, later on, it was a surprise to see that uh, there is a lady who calls herself Bad Black. In fact, she was she added on Bad, which means she was stronger than the other, you know, men who are who are blacks. So, and it was strange, and I, 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 that's why I think that's that, that's a, that alone. That's why it made news in Uganda uh, that there is a lady who calls herself Bad Black, and she has a lot of money, 
that money she got it from a white man yeah this was the big story mm. in 2011 yeah when yeah, i first came yeah yeah that, that she uh, took all this money from some some british guy you executive think called green something yeah, yeah. So, so some white guy and mm. she was the girlfriend took all the money yep. and so then when i showed up yeah. <laughs> you're like let's make the movie yeah <laughs> except you changed him from uh <laughs> from a, a uh, banker to a commando yeah yeah of course uh, because this is action anyway <laughs> and i think even that uh, that british guy is this movie he would you know admire it and would like it in fact he would regret why his movie his, his life is not this <laughs> we have to send him a copy and he'll fear it man oh my god my life is in a movie <laughs> yeah. we have to find him <laughs> That's yeah. his Robert. Oh, that's your brother, right? right. Well, one of them, Robert. Yeah. That's Ivan. Ivan and Peter. Yeah, Peter. The Kenya, of course. Yeah. Bruce, you. There's your brother. Yeah. On the left. Mm. How old is he? Uh, he's older than I think he's uh, around 49. I think or 48. I don't know. So at this time, he's like 46. Cut. He's like he's at this time. He's maybe 46 years old. Yeah, by that doing time. Doing this. By that time, or 40, 40. 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, like, no. Oh. Might have been 40. By oh, that maybe. time. Yeah, 40. Or less. Yeah, this is made over a few years. <laughs> 2011 to 15. It's Chirabo. So when you were just thinking about the movie, what was important to you? Yeah, it was like telling a story because it was bad black that I wanted to make a movie out of it, and uh, the blacks, the the first blacks, uh, who, who for me thought I thought that uh, maybe bad black come from the the other blacks, because it was like for me it was like a, a mission being completed by this lady, uh, by you know the mysterious uh, you know I mean the blacks who never we, we never knew how they they disappeared. Yeah, you don't know their real names. They, yeah, you don't know. Uh, we don't know them, and uh, they disappeared, and the police was hunting for them. Uh, so it was all over the country that insecurity was, they caused insecurity, and then there comes bad black, and she's a lady. She has a lot of money, so it's for me. What came into my mind is like maybe she's a daughter of the other, you know, bad, I mean blacks, or she is related to them, or something like that. But she was young. She's young, you know, and then I say, I, I, and another thing which came out in my mind also is that if this lady had uh, lived maybe the corporate, uh, from the corporate, she couldn't, you know, waste a lot of time, money with, and she couldn't be that. But because she was uh, uh, from the ghettos, maybe she didn't know how to spend the money. That's why she could even knock you and she pays you a lot, you know, something like that. So I had to, you know, uh, come out with a... a uh, a movie that really is uh, like narrowing the gap between the rich and the, and the poor. So this is all real. I mean, like you see uh, the, the life of children on the street here. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that is what we see every day in Uganda. Uh, we see, you know, children, you know, on the street. Like that, that very setting. Uh, it is real because uh, we have seen it in Uganda, in Chisenyi areas, uh, in the suburbs of Kampala. Uh, even in Natete, there, uh, we call it uh, Tukutano there. So we are seeing these, you know, old gangsters, you know, using them. And uh, we are also seeing uh, people who I think are not even gangsters, but they are like, you know, uh, like NGOs, like NGOs. I would straight, uh, straight on that because these people are smart. They put them on street and we see them, you know, collecting money from them. After, you know, if you give them money, you just go there in a the corner and wait. You see someone coming and picking that money. It's old and it's smart. And he takes the money. At, at lunch, sometimes you see them, you know, moving. At, in the evening, they go. So, and others, oh no, others, this, uh, you know, the real one, stay on the street. But there are some who are planted there on the street. So, such life is, is in Kampala. And we have seen it. And uh, we are always, like me, I always blame, you know, State Council for saying that, you know, we are we're going to get them. They are, you know, chasing hawkers and what and like, who is bringing them? They know who brings these people because we see them every day. And these are all children in the village? Yes, those ones are children. And children of the actors. And yeah. That is Isaac Newton there. <laughs> That's, yeah, your son. <laughs> He's a star of uh, Crazy World. Yeah. 
coming soon. So, so you wrote the song too. Yeah, that song is I comp I, I, com I, I it's like I composed uh, like ninety percent of it. Uh, it was meaningful. By that time, I had uh, Bresa, who was uh, one of the producers here, and then I told him I want a song like this, and then we made it. It, it, it means uh, you know issues at home. That is what they are singing, and uh, later on, that's why I had Mommy and Daddy, which is sung by Rachel. It is it it was similar because it is. Oh, I'm always trying to tell people that these children are crying. This it is a song for all children, you know, on the streets. It's issues at home, issues at home, and I'm, 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 I'm Sometimes I'm afraid that these issues are sometimes inspired by any girls. Uh, I am not saying that all any girls are bad, but some of them are inspiring uh, by you know sponsoring these you know NGOs who are you know looking after the children, and then we see them on the street later on and something like that. Because if there are no children on the street, they are no they have no jobs, so they have to find a way you know uh, disorganizing our homes, and then we have children on the streets like you know sponsoring this what's what they call you know uh, TV TV series love stories. And yeah, you've uh, talked about. Uh Silent violence. Yeah, I call it silent violence because uh, these uh, <coughs> these movies are silently uh, uh, creating violence at home, uh, where you see you know a mother you know learning how to cheat on his and her husband, uh, a daughter you know at home learning how to cheat a boyfriend and a boyfriend and, and a boy learns how to cheat a girl. So it is it is like that. And then it, it's your it, phone. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it is my phone, and I don't know where it comes from. <laughs> is it international? <laughs> yeah. Do you want to pick it? Uh, yeah, let me do it. Yeah. Pick because it. I don't can record. Know. <laughs> <laughs> this is business, maybe. <laughs> Hello. 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 Where are you from? Where are you from? Hello? Are you from Sudan? Yeah. This is this is true okay, okay, behind okay. the scenes <laughs> here at okay. Hollywood. <laughs> yeah, from Sudan, but little English. <laughs> <laughs> is she from Sudan? Yeah, but she speaks. But do you think? What do you think that would? Do you think that was just a fan, or she? I wants think. To I, I think a fan. I don't know. But she says I speak little English Sudan, Yuba. Mm. Okay. So, <laughs> <laughs> but you, you were saying about um, as you were telling me once about the like you feel like TV shows. Yes. You are promoting this other kind of violence. Yes, of course, and. Uh, as I've told you that even you know, see boys learning from you know TVs how to cheat on girlfriends and then but you know a, ha a wife after learning this she goes and cheats on the husband but when the husband finds out and then they quarrel they fight because the movie also says that they will fight and they will come back together again but in you know we are African we, we for us we, if if I if I catch you with my wife don't think that I will bring you back again it's not easy that's, that's it's international inter <laughs> i don't know i don't know elsewhere because <laughs> <laughs> but just but, but then that you think leads uh to children on the streets at yes times. after you know uh that separate separation of you know the the mommy and daddy and then uh, that's why you see <coughs> that's why you see you know children you know getting on the street because what comes next is the quarrel and then we see mama uh, normally it's they, they they have promoted one word which is called single mother and then we see this single mother with the children. And we see, you know, a, a family without a father. Just imagine. And that's, that is causing a lot of violence here. We have seen, I'm, 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 I've seen that. Where, you know, mothers cannot look after boys and girls. She, in fact, I, I, she always tells them that, you know, I, 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 I'm struggling to get school fees for you, you know. And she gets school fees from police sometimes. Because sometimes they, it is a, a police case or a court case. And then they tell you to, they tell a man to, to pay for rent, for you know, food, and then you have to take it to police, something like that. But at the end, uh, she fails to control the uh, you know the, the, the children because she's like trying to make them you know love her that she stays with them. So she does not you know like you know uh, some like you're talking about discipline. Yeah, ha, ha, that is what I'm talking about. She does not discipline them uh, where necessary. She's like pampering, pampering them, and she leaves them, you know, like that. And then at the end, they get they they, they get spoiled, and you find them on the street. They they they, they run away. Just of recent, a boy ran away, and she was he was brought to me. The, the mother came to me and said, you know, the boy ran away. And then I had to come in. The neighbor, 
here. I had to go there and talk to the boy because the boy is, 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 is at the school there. So I, had, I talked to the boy and then I called it even the father and then we talked. But I think the boy is going to change according to the, like it's one a week now. He goes to school well and then comes back. When I talked to the, the, the lady, she told me that no, yeah, I think the boy is now in, in, is back in shape. But I, I feel like NGOs, NGOs are not helping, but they are creating jobs. And those jobs are looking af the job of looking after the children on street. Instead of preventing it, they let it, you know, happen so that they get jobs. And then, but then people complain about your movies, saying that you're promoting violence. But then a movie like this, to you, is about family. Yeah, it is. It is. And uh, in, in Uganda, I don't see how it is going to cause violence. Because if this, it is much, of, much of it is comedy and it is acted, they could even see it. But with the other one, it is playing with life, real life. Seeing a mother and their mother, and there's a mother at home. Seeing a, a daughter and there's a daughter at home. That's something like that. But in this, it is fiction and someone can, even children can see it. You, you, are, you are hearing them every day here. I want to be a commando, but they know a commando who is a commando, something like that. They know the limitations of a commando. It's just being. But in, with the, the other love stories, it is what they are. They even don't say, I want to be a boy. They are already boys. They know what to do with that life now because after, after watching the movie. But at least with these ones, you, it is, they see it is impossible. I cannot kick because they cannot kick. They cannot, you know, get the guns. They cannot, you know, they see even the guns. They are fake. They see us, you know, every day. And even those who don't see us, they see these guns are fake. They, all, they know that. But with the other life, it is completely playing with the real life. And it is a psychological, uh, you know, uh, sort of, you know, violence, you know, uh, put into their mind from childhood. I was. I looked healthy at one point. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. This is all again the same area. This is now just a cross. Yeah, yeah, cross. Yeah. In the corner on the right is where we are. That's the other half of the budget was that tent. Yeah, the tent. For real, <laughs> <laughs> it was like thirty dollars for a weekend. So here's Gloria. He's a smart dresser, Isaac. Yeah, he's, he's for you know that guy is always smart, uh, Juma. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, he's great. Dauda. <laughs> so, what does Mzungu mean, Isaac? Uh, Mzungu, uh, literally, I think it means uh, walking around. <laughs> Like you see him there walking. I think that is the meaning. But walking He's like confused? Confused. Right? Yeah. I think that is it. That is. I think it is a Swahili name, Kuzunguka. Kuzunguka means that walking, just walking, walking around. And I think it's from the past when they saw, you know, uh, these missionaries and what who used to go from border to border, inside and out, and they didn't know what they are doing. Because they were not, you know, communicating, and they said these people are just walking, and they have nothing to do here. It's okay. like that's why they say Kuzungu from Muzungu Kuzunguka. It is that is why they got the word Muzungu. Uh -huh. uh, someone who is Kuzunguka is Muzungu. Are you laughing? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this is real. She has yeah. no idea. Yeah. They're filming. <laughs> That's 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 the father of uh, the little girl. Uh, yeah, Chilabu. that's Chilabu. That's Chilabu's father. It's Kagolo. Yeah, Kagolo. He's a good, good, uh, good cannibal. <laughs> and then Dauda here. So Dauda, oh, he plays a. He's a good actor. Yeah, of course, yeah. On he everything. Is. But uh, but he's the one who builds the helicopter and the props. Yeah, yeah. He's uh, he's behind the props department. He's the head of the props department here. He was Rock and Captain Alex. So do you audition people? I know, no, we auditioned once in 2008. And uh, I, I, I think among the, the, the auditioned ones, uh, we still have uh, Ronald Kazi with, uh, I mean, Geno Prakido and uh, Hawa. 
Yeah, General Placido, he's uh, he plays Kenny in the movie. Yeah, in the movie, he's the one who plays Kenny, Kenny in the movie. And how was the mother? It turns, turns out yeah, at, the at the end. end. In prison. Yeah. <clears throat> so, but now what we do is uh, if someone watches a movie like that and he or she wants to be in action, normally they want to be in action, they call and then we, 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 we call them and they come here and then we admit them accordingly. Normally, what normally when they come here, they say, "Now, for me, I can do what you do. I can do it." So, and then we or, normally that is confusing me. For me, yeah, I want how do you test them? Me. Yeah, that, for normally for me, I want someone <coughs> who who wants or not someone who can. Because if you say you can, normally I test them and I tell them, "Have you ever seen you know, Return of Uncle Ben?" Many of them have seen it, and they said, "Yes, I saw it, and I can do everything." It, that it was done in that. Movie. Then I said, "Do you remember when uh, someone is one one whose head was brown?" And he said, "Yes. Can you do it and put it back?" <laughs> no. <laughs> then <laughs> that's how you fail. But that's what I said, you know, in 2011 when I first came, and you know, I just came because I wanted to understand. Because all I saw was the trailer for Alex, really. But then I wanted to be part of it, and I called you that night, that first night. Yeah. It was like 2 a.m., and we were both awake because we're, I think we both were excited to meet each other and I, I told you like I, I think I said exactly that on the phone <laughs> I said look I really I think I want to be in the movies I want to do action but I know nothing yeah and I think that's what you got you excited yeah of course uh, because uh, but here yeah, people they always say that they can and I think uh, because after because the, the good thing is we are acting in Uganda but if it was English everyone because that is the last question which they ask uh, I've never gone to school. Can I act? And I always say, yes, you can act if you want. Uh, but if it is the other, you know, somersaults or word kicks and what they say, I can't do it. I can't do that. I can't do that. Uh, because seeing that these are their agents, they're Ugandans, they're speaking Luganda, that's why they think, they sometimes believe that they can do it. How, how can someone who speaks my language can do it? And that is... That is why I'm, I want Muzungus in my movies like you. Uh, it is like changing the mindset. Because people think that a movie has got to be in English. That's number one. Yeah, so do people, do uh, audiences or other filmmakers here in Uganda look down on you because you shoot in yeah, Uganda? in Uganda, that is it. That's why they don't even consider me a filmmaker because I don't do English. And, uh, and that is, it is, it is, it is like something like... Uh, not respecting, or you know, their their selves. Uh, it's like disrespecting themselves. It is like uh, not, you know, treasuring their character, not treasuring their language. Yeah, I've, even yesterday when I was at Selena, and one of the premiers of one of the filmmakers, when someone told me straight, and is I think is one of the critics in Uganda, he told me that why don't you do movies in English? It is time you have to change. I told him that no, Japan has not changed. U USA has not changed. I tell you, USA is now speaking Luganda. That's <laughs> been <laughs> from because of Emmy. <laughs> so in Europe, I, 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 it's not, uh, it's not about language, but it's about what you are delivering. So uh, that is that sort of, uh, I call it. Sometimes I call it not uh, respecting, uh, you know, art. You know what happens to me sometimes? If I'm starting, if I'm speaking a little Luganda, it's in town. Sometimes they stop me. Ugandan and say who taught you this terrible language <laughs> that's what they say who taught you to speak like this yeah. <laughs> and I thought they meant my accent no 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 no. I, 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 I think they even don't want people to speak their own their, their, our language it's like it is like a caste language they, they believe that if you speak it you not you know prosper you not go on so uh, for me I, I, I believe that people just don't uh, you know it is just something like don't, don't uh, respect art don't respect courage. That is what they don't know, don't understand. But we have seen, and I always ask them, don't you see that Indians are, you know, acting in India, in, 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 in their Indian languages? But it's just a matter of dubbing and doing what some other, you know, you know subtitles and what, uh, to make them international. It's, but if you look at these people, you know, when they're acting, they have never gone to school, but when they act, they act with a, a lot of, you know, uh, full of expressions and um, gestures, they do them well. But if you tell them to act in English, they are not whites, they are not English, so they will not do it uh, the way you want. It's it. just not natural. They, it will not be natural. It will be like cartoons. So I, I feel like someone, if someone acts in his or her language, that is something you know. But that uh, was what's incredible mm. with uh, with him. 
with Wesley Snipes. Yes. Because like I said, he had three strikes against him. He was like, he's never been on camera. <laughs> yeah. He's, he's and he's English and he's with an American. And look how good he's beating beating me up. Yeah. Uh, the truth is, he was enjoying. Yeah. I I think he's the first uh, Ugandan child actor to beat a Muzungu. <laughs> <laughs> so that was in a long line <laughs> yeah. that has since come. <laughs> I think he li he likes that uh, you know that, that that scene. Yeah, and he speaks good English uh, because he's uh, f uh, from you know at least uh, a good family. Because no. you you wanted mm. a child here that was small and tough. Yes, like you know Arnold. Yeah, like Arnold. I wanted the character of Arnold from him. Arnold from uh, uh, Arnold uh, different strokes different strokes yeah <laughs> I wanted that character that funny character because uh, I saw that when I was young different strokes uh, so I used to see that uh, in the evening <laughs> and you could I think see we it. all did <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so <laughs> he was not tough I think I've got then it goes to a Hollywood and he has to be Kung Fu yeah master. yeah 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 he wasn't but but I was uh, at least he had the character I, I liked the character because I you know I don't know if he was tough or not because I, I did not know he English. was tough yeah I did not know English by that time but he used to say and then I just don't know what he said because <laughs> all the kids I mean they grow up I mean they're young still but they grow up watching your movies yeah, and they, and they and they watch you make them. Yes, and I think that is going to be great, uh, good for them, uh, and they are going to be good filmmakers, producers, editors, and you know actors, or at uh, least support it. You know. Yes, sir. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, that's why we are. Um, I, I made the workasters to see that at least children. We don't forget the children uh, in the future of the film industry of Uganda. Otherwise, if we did not get that chance, they should get it. The workasters are the the child uh, kung fu masters and singers. Yes, yeah. Those are the workasters. Yeah, it's in the next <coughs> movie, The Crazy World. Yes. <coughs> so this is, all of this is where you grew up. You grew up here. Yeah, yeah, we grew up here. And that was our, our sort of, I remember in 1986, uh, after the war, uh, the Seven War, uh, national resistance had come in. So we, we, we lived the other side. And then uh, there are some, like Charles Bukenya, you lived this side where they're facing. So... <coughs> Uh, that was like our the, 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 the Lord and the other liver trench there used to work as our front line. So if you cross, you have won. If you don't, they have won. Something like that. I mean, the kids would have wars. Yes, we were fighting with, you know, seeds of, you know, tomato, I avocado, mean, uh, avocado, avocado, yeah. And uh, mangoes. And it, it became tough. And then we were stopped by the National Resistance Army. <laughs> the army came <laughs> to stop the kids from play, from from war. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> they thought that maybe we'll get you, we will kill each other one day, but uh, we did not, and no one was hurt. I remember that house you see there. Mm -hmm. That one was there. I was there, and I used to. Uh, I I had a, a, a catapult, a catapult, and then I used to throw on the a catapult. Yes, I used to throw you know uh, seeds on that, uh, those seeds of mangoes with it, and then we break those tiles. <laughs> we, we liked that very much <laughs> because it was like abandoned and then we liked that very much and that was normally a signal you you take but it you and begin you're the war oh, yeah to stay the war <laughs> mama see that there's Serchi that's one of the original actors yeah so you um was now we're talking about music yeah. and, and drugs yeah but you you began with music yes i began with music and uh that was 2000, uh, 2005, and I made that studio, audio studio, which has helped many uh, musicians in Uganda, like Eddie Kenzo, who is a BAT uh, winner, uh, and others, uh, many, many big artists in now in Uganda. That's, I'm so proud of that because it was like a, a dream that I could help you know, the youth, and I was not charging them. But now they're becoming, they have good studios, they have producers everywhere, all over the country. And I think that was the first studio, Ugandan first studio in, 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 in our area here. There are Ugandans who had studios in Kampala, but at least that was the first. And uh, because we, t we talk here about uh, drug use and all that, and that's important to you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I was in fact fighting drugs by that time when I started. In fact, I started by m when I was making bricks. That's when I started, you know, uh, uh, telling youth that don't take drugs. Drugs. And through music, uh, many had a, a, a perception that uh, if you if you take drugs, that's when you become a good artist. And uh, that's especially those ones with dreadlocks. But uh, I told them, no, look at these musicians in church. They don't take drugs, but they have good voices. So I used to tell them 
and uh, it is like that setting where you have seen them. Normally they, 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 they go in, in separate areas and then they start making voices and that's where they take drugs. So I started you know, going there and telling them, no, this is wrong. Don't think that these drugs are going to help you or you know, separating from others. And no, people in churches don't take drugs. I've been doing that several times and that is in fact that is why I had to put that scene in that in this movie uh, because uh, you see now Kenny a, a rich man's uh, son thinks that he has problems so to solve the problem he has to take drugs and that is, has been a very big problem in Uganda whoever thinks that he has problems let me take drugs let me take you know alcohol <laughs> so I, I, I always have been fighting that I'm, in fact I'm so happy that uh, I've been invited in Namibia a few weeks to come to go to teach the youth in Namibia uh, against you know drug and you know alcohol so I think uh, I've been doing that I'm so happy that at least I don't know how they knew that I could do it but someone in Namibia a fan of mine said no come and help these people here uh, they are you know they are taking a lot of alcohol here and I, I've done it in this movie to tell that you know it's not good that's why you saw that magumba there uh, they were with the, yeah, dread, the dreadlocks was telling this guy that no this is not good yeah this don't take drugs don't take that because he and i remember uh, when lucky dube came here in uganda lucky dube is a south african you know reggae artist he had a role he was like uh, an inspiration to many musicians in uganda when he came here i told them that don't take drugs i don't do that don't take alcohol i don't do that I please wash your dreads. Wow. <laughs> I do that. So I, I I also liked his you know his 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 his, his message. It was good as a leg you know because the reggae is normally for you know message. Uh, so he told them and he, he made a press conference a conference with them many rasters and then he told them that no don't do it. So we need such movies to. Uh, for our people in the ghettos to see and learn from them. So this is literally like the first day, the second day I met you. Yeah. And it's the first, is, it's, all of this shooting is like, I don't even know Bruce Yu's name yet. Yeah. You just threw me in there to get, to get beaten. I have no idea what's happening. And I think it's because, you know, you knew that if I can beat up some white guy yeah. for, for five minutes in a movie, yeah, it would make sense. <laughs> you can put it in any movie. Yeah. If I never come back, yeah, yeah, yeah. you could, can sell it. It would make sense. <laughs> it's a dream. It's yeah. something. Yeah. And both times, man, there's this more of the poo-poo. Yeah. It, was, it was completely by accident. <laughs> and that's only because I'm an idiot. Like right here, I grabbed Searchy, and that was not... Oh, God. Yeah, that's real. I was ready to keep shooting, but you were like, no. <laughs> no. And by the way, this pickup here, this is like three years later. Mm, yeah, yeah, that was. Uh, <laughs> yeah, he liked beating me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but you know what we did is that, like the when we first met, I had I gave him a stick and I had him chase me around the village beating me, uh, so he knows he can, like as hard as he can, because uh, I know he'd enjoy it. Back to the movie. Yeah. Yeah, that is a very good message there because now a rich man is talking about drugs. People in ghettos they take drugs and he wants to buy the whole land. So for me that is a very good message because uh, these people in the corporate think that people in the ghettos drink, I mean, you know, take drugs and uh, not all people in the ghetto take drugs. I've, I've seen so many of them who don't take, you know, alcohol. And like me, I don't, I've never taken alcohol. No, just everyone thinks you do because you're crazy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you think you, you must take <laughs> something else. Yeah, but it is becoming even worse nowadays because uh, they're becoming rich and they want, you know, to transform Kampala into, you know, uh, you know, these tall houses and then they are buying the whole land without compensating. Yeah, without compensating. I think it's okay. For me, I want to see Kampala, you know, changing. And I think that is why our brothers and sisters have gone uh, abroad because they, 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 they are watching movies from West and uh, have, you know, good, you know, settings of, you know, uh, cities. And then they say, oh, I want to go in this. I want to see this. So I, I'm happy that at least I've seen Kampala changing. Yeah. I've seen it for sure. Yeah. And the population keeps growing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It is. It is. It is growing very fast. Yeah, that song is 
that is the main song which means issues at home and it is afrobeat so normally afrobeat and reggae are used for you know message that message was like issues at home as you know something you have done it is like opposite of the other story movies i'm telling you that he is telling is saying that uh, issue i mean uh, there's something you have done you know selling you know my properties at home you know that is the meaning of you know selling the properties at home is like you know selling my love to another man and that has caused all this because these are the children when they have grown up now so you're saying like on the tv shows that you see it's not showing the consequences yeah and this is all consequences yeah. So we chose that set. Uh, it is a lever. I mean, it's a, a, a water trench between you know the poor and the rich. We wanted to take it to uh, to the ghettos like Katanga, where we have where there is a real you know setting, rich and poor, and uh, Kamocha. But uh, we could not get a, a good spot there. Yeah, like permits. Yeah, and you know, working at night because we had to shoot it at night. That was the main you know problem. So you see this a lot where um, the family would fight if like the daughter's with a poor, if it's a rich family with the poor guy. Yeah, that is, that is so, so, so common. But, uh, and that it was, and I think it started in the 80s. Uh, for me, I had a chance of going to one of the schools, which is Old Kampala, uh, where they were, you know, rich, you know, family people, children from rich families. And, uh, uh, in fact, that's why I got this. This, this. Um, there's a girl who was called uh, Namutebi, fall in, fall in love with uh, Kavuma, who was uh, from a, a poor family. So the battle started there, and I remember that girl when she, when Kavuma was taken to police. He was my friend anyway. Kavuma was my friend. When he was taken to police, uh, the girl said, "No, I'm not leaving." So the, the war started from there, and we have seen that, you know, coming. And I've been feeling, you know, that since then, and I've been seeing it with so many families having the same issue. And I think through this movie, that's why I had to bring it out and at least people to see it, to understand that, you know, sometimes you are chasing someone. Some, some, sometimes you, you feel like you are, you know, from the corporate, but you are not born in the corporate. So many of them, many of our corporate here in Uganda are not born in the corporate. I think uh, with these 30 years of, you know, uh, NRM in the government, at least, uh, at least we have, you know, children who are born in the corporate. But uh, before it wasn't, no one, no minister has ever, no minister we have here was born in corporate. Uh, all of ministers we have the above, you know, 50. They were born in, you know, in ghettos, in slum areas, in villages. Uh, but when they go there, they, you know, they, 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 they tend to be different. And I think it might change. I don't know, because we are seeing now with these people who are born in corporate, we are, you know, working together sometimes. Yeah. This is your daughter. Yeah, that's Rachel. <laughs> Yeah. My mom has gone to work. Mm. And your dad? So again, this is the very first. Yeah, I, I don't think she was a very good actor by that time, but uh, because she's she was the only girl on that age who knew English, who could speak with the Muzungu. So that's why she had to win that uh, that that, that uh, cast, uh, we ca had to cast her. You know what's happening here? Because I didn't even know what the movie was about. <laughs> and so I was told to tell her, like, if she stole my stuff, you tell them that she's black. <laughs> I didn't, I thought, like, wouldn't they know she's black? Or think, I, I had no idea for a week yeah. that the character's name was black. It was black. <laughs> <laughs> and that's why they, they're angry. They think I know the gangster. <laughs> so what do you think of, um, because you know what happened in the, when I was showing a rough cut of this in New York, and I could show it to, like, Academy Award uh, nominated producers so these like big producers and I show them parts of this and they told me that you know Isaac is very confused because you know the beginning is action but then it becomes like a drama and then it's somehow comedy and then it is a musical and then it's almost slapstick at time, like, like it's it's everything yeah and they, they would say that you have a problem that you're confused yeah I think they are they're too confused somehow uh, they, are, they, they have been following books for sure. Uh, yeah, for me, I don't, I'm natural. 
I, I, because if it rains today and then it sh- it becomes you know sunny in the evening, and then maybe it rains at again or it doesn't or something like that, does that mean the <laughs> the world is confused? <laughs> it's natural. <laughs> <laughs> if you eat, eat matoke today and then tomorrow you eat beans and then you eat something and i think i think they should see from their tables they have a lot of food on their tables are they confused why because don't like they every eat every day the day the day can be action yeah. if you are late for the bus <laughs> and then it could be horror because you lost your keys yeah. and then comedy yeah it can it is life someone can die in time you just don't have to say that he is going to die and he dies he can die even if you are talking to him or her she dies and then you say no you are not supposed to die <laughs> because you did not even invite me so i think uh, they tried to make simple movies simple in in west that's why th- their generation found that or when it was really written down and uh, you know maybe they had even rubbed off the movies which started like mine which were real and uh, for me i believe that this is realistic this is real it is not uh, uh, it is not from books uh, otherwise this is real life that's what we go through we see I'm a man like him we see you know people in the ghetto we see you know we can anytime hear bullets outside so uh, do i do i have to say no no bullets i've not had bullets yeah, when making are, a comedy so yeah. we can have no bullets <laughs> even if it's life yeah for me i i, I believe this is real and uh, comedy is part of life every time if you don't have if you have if you don't we don't have comedy in life life would not be good that's why I put comedy in these movies. And I think it is real, realistic. Uh, when some, you, if you annoy someone, for me, I believe, make him at least uh, to laugh. Give him just, just a chance to laugh. After, you know, making him, you know, sad or something like that. That is how I do it. And, I, I, and sometimes they are also confused because uh, of the life we go through in Africa. We are in extended family style of life, and then in West, it's nuclear uh, style, uh, type of, of, of family. So, for us, we do extended, even in the movies, uh, whereby anyone can become a star. But in the West, it is the father who is a star. But here, they can, someone can, ju- I mean, your, your father can just tell you that, can, can, can come and tell you, you know, that boy you see here who's five years old is your grandfather. And then you have to respect that young boy like the way you should respect your grandfather so and we don't see it there I, I, at least we see it in the army yeah, where you if you put on a lank then you have someone else to salute you and that army has got that real thing which i mean here we go i tell you the ones that i don't fear the guns i fear the police with a bat <laughs> i feel that's someone who loves their job <laughs> you know that's the one i fear you see, they're smoking. Yeah. You can see that no one knows how to smoke, <laughs> Isaac. <laughs> yeah, because normally here youth don't smoke. They don't. Many of them don't smoke. But they, with the bad guys in the movies, they have to. Yeah, they have to smoke because they're bad guys. We are there imitating the bad guys. <laughs> no, there's your brother again. Uh, it's Ernest with the hat, and, and uh, here he is. Don't put the gun down. <laughs> yeah, it's a bad idea. So, how much do you plan for like this? I mean, do you have notebooks with sketches for mm, the? Yeah, for me, it is the location normally which gives me the plan. Uh, sometimes you plan and then you leave the location and it has changed or it is it are not permitted then you end up not you know using it and so for me when I reach the, 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 the location I plan from there so that's Felix he's a real cop yeah yeah that was a <laughs> the real leather jacket cop, yeah. yeah he's a fan day <laughs> yeah he's serious he's like, he's like a police commando yeah yeah and he's proud of being a policeman <laughs> if you see me in Kampala standing with a gun you could think that he's like he, for me, he, he, I think he has seen so many bridge, because he, he starts like bridge on the palace, there, <laughs> with a gun like this, like a statue. Yeah. <laughs> and then he shows you his new scars. <laughs> he gets all these scars from from 
Yeah, know. it has been, you know, uh, in, 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 in different and difficult places like yeah. Katwe. That's where he has been, you know, working. Yeah. Here we go. This is where I kill a policeman, I think. There he is. I don't know. Is that a good death, Isaac? Yeah, I know. I told him to die several times. We did that tech several times. And he could not, you know, die. <laughs> he could not. <laughs> he doesn't know how to He's die. He's good at the other part. <laughs> Sometimes, you know, actors don't want to die. They feel like they want to be the, 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 the stars. So they don't. They, we have that, that film stars never die. So when they die, they, I remember one person. But you can die many times in your movies. Yes, but others don't die. Don't want to die like uh, one person. Uh, what, what I think was it? Who killed Captain Alex? Oh, the the singer Bobby Wine. Yeah, yeah. Even Bobby Wine never want to die. But there was another one who also died in that movie. Who killed Captain Alex after the plane uh, bombing something like that? I. But he was saying, no, I cannot die. I, I, why? Why should I die? So. <laughs> So you don't even tell people what's happening. Yeah, sometimes they're, we don't tell them. They, they're closing <laughs> the door out of fear. <laughs> and that kid was laughing. <laughs> yeah, I remember when we shot this, there was suddenly a truck parked. And it wasn't planned. It was not there before. Yeah. <laughs> Mama. <laughs> so did you tell him to flip? No. Yeah, it's just him. <laughs> He just thought. Man. <laughs> yeah, that's Chirabo's father there. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> he comes from far to be part of this. Yeah, yeah he, he's, he, and he walks there. He walks, man. I remember when uh, he let me or Dow to let me choose my gun for the movie. <laughs> I chose this, man. <laughs> and he was like, no, take a pistol, take some. No. <laughs> I want the M60. <laughs> Not a very good doctor, I see. Yeah, you like that location? It is like Katanga. It is a real Katanga up location. Yeah, it's all laundry. It's all yeah, real. Yeah, apart from you know, few people, it had to, we had it to play, to plant there more people to make it real Katanga. I think I ripped all ripped off my. Uh, Fingernail in there somewhere. Yeah. Oh, hands up. This is black. This is who you're looking for. Dumb, dumb. <laughs> and I have my dog. That's right. Where am I going, Isaac? I don't know. <laughs> There's no way. <laughs> There's no exit. <laughs> <laughs> so she's great. Stamina? Yeah. yeah, stamina. Yeah, she is great. And she's also a film oh, director. Oh. I think she's, she's in Europe now. Yeah. We have to now shoot there. We have to shoot her in Sweden. I don't know if she can nowadays. She's a mother of double twins. Four kids. Yeah. <laughs> Jeez. Does that mean she's she's super blessed? She's yeah. I, I don't know if she's Nalongo <laughs> anymore. Nana. <laughs> <laughs> Nana Longo. Nalongo is a uh, mother of twins. <laughs> yep, can't smoke. I love how Gloria is really scared. Yeah. Yeah, she was scared, you know. <laughs> <laughs> She's really scared. <laughs> she had a reason to fear. <laughs> she knew that stamina would do it work Hollywood style. <laughs> So with with stamina, you just let her be. Yeah, she knew. I, she knew that what I wanted is uh, is real. Well, everyone knows, I guess. Yeah. Once once they, once they meet you and see a movie, they know. <laughs> they know this is not uh, dialogue. But because that is what is happening in prisons. 
That is exactly what is happening in prisons. In fact, people, you know, beat each other in prisons in Uganda. I don't know elsewhere, but in Uganda it's real. So sometimes we want to make something that really brings out the real thing which is happening. So that's Hawa. Yeah, Hawa. How is the from Captain Alex the the panties? <laughs> Go for panties. <laughs> <laughs> And she's great. Like they're great together. Yeah. You should put the two of them as commandos, something. <laughs> so, were you surprised at the world premiere of this in Texas? At Alamo, were you surprised that it won audience award and the the best director? Uh, director? After you know, uh, thinking about you know, for me, I make movies for you know for audience. Yes, it was like a surprise anyway, but uh, I, I knew that the audience would love it because uh, I made it for the audience. I didn't make it for for judges. Uh, it was you know like a, a a true story. I mean, a story becoming a dream becoming true uh, because I make movies for audience and then. Uh, when the audience really shows me that yes you made it for us and then we appreciate uh, when we skyped when i skyped and then i saw everyone was happy oh, they were crazy uh, yeah. because you, you, you weren't able to go because of yeah. visa yeah but i was there and i yeah. i was I, but i liked it i liked the 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 the, 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 the situation the way they were they they, they, they they received the movie uh, even the questions I like the guy who say that. Uh, yeah, I know Uganda because of okay, I mean, because of Wakaliwood now. Because of art. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so I like that. That was so cool, and uh, even so many Americans have been coming here and then asking of all places why, <laughs> why, how, and why, why Texas. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why other than uh, they fought for it. They begged. Yeah. They wanted it. Yeah. So they're always asking anyway, but. Uh, I, I, I always tell them, in fact, even those who are asking, they're always telling me that I'm inspiring them. Uh, espe especially black Americans, they are saying that I'm inspiring them because they are seeing Ugandans who are poor and then we, uh, we, we do something and then it's, 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 I, I think it, we are, yes, I, I believe that yeah, they're inspired, but uh, it is also amazing that uh, at least we, we, I mean, we won that. And it is, for me, it is not, it was not a surprise somehow. I cannot say it was a surprise because I work for audience. I do for audience. But for me, what was important for me is that it's part of it. Like in the next theater was Tim Burton, who make, you know, makes movies with the big movies and things. Batman, the original Batman he yeah. made and things. He's in the next theater. And for me, what was important is that well, Hollywood was there. I did not think. <laughs> I know people would love it, but they went crazy and you can and after they, they show the movie you can go into another movie and you hear the audience go commando <laughs> it could be a film from Korea and they're doing like super action they're like they make it Ugandan yeah <laughs> yeah VJ I think also VJ is a good idea that should be shared elsewhere because uh, I think the world has been watching some one thing for years without you know something added to the movie industry of the world so a vj spicing everything and you know uh, exaggerating and something like that i think it is a good idea yeah, because also it's like for me especially when i was younger what i would always think about is that film is very young right now it's what 100 years more or less and so the best ideas are still the, the, those filmmakers are not born yet yeah yeah <laughs> who have the course. best ideas yeah. <laughs> I think that some of them are born, but they don't know <laughs> because of you know countries like you know Uganda where they don't appreciate art. If we are just teaching them how to appreciate art. Otherwise, if art is appreciated, we have a lot of talents. Yeah, that's what's funny to me is that uh, you don't appreciate art maybe as a country, but. There's artists. Yes, <laughs> there are so many artists. Yeah, there are so many artists, but they are lacking. You know that, they, and uh, they are not inspired. They are not, uh, you know, working in a very good environment. They should, because if you do something like the way I felt when when the audience in Texas, uh, you know, um, awarded us, is uh, 
the way you want to feel here in Uganda where when if someone because like yesterday I was in uh, was in at Selena and then when everyone was like was so anxious to see Wakali tunes was ah, Wakali tunes Waka, something like that that is what I want because at least though I was in the house of you know with artists many of them were artists they are waiting <laughs> they want to see what can uh, what can we do what can Wakali would do with her? something like that that's what at least an artist would like because you cannot say that someone designed a, designed a t-shirt or a shirt and he doesn't want people to wear it That's searchy again over here. Yeah. <laughs> it's the one who has invaded, and it's the one now in police. <laughs> so, 24, you like that TV show? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, those words were normally said by my brother who is who is uh, like a crazy should i mentally disturbed he because i always s look at people i don't uh, for me whoever I, I i live with i always find something out of him uh, so he, i grew up he's a close friend of mine i could say that because we were almost same age but he was older than me but he was mentally disturbed and i used to take him to hospital when i was very young so he had so many words such words like what you like that one <laughs> oh. <laughs> i like his words they are they are funny words oh, uh, oh that Ooh, was real that, hurts. <laughs> that was real that's searchy again he's dead again yeah. <laughs> I like this fight a lot. Not many people include garbage. <laughs> there should be more garbage fighting scene. <laughs> so the village is used to this. You can be late at night. Yeah, they're used. Should even be fighting the, and no one worries. Even the local council, I mean the local... Uh, uh, yes, local council is. They know that we act in time. Is the village proud? Yeah, of course, yes. Yeah, the, the, yeah, and they are now working. Yes, there are some who don't even know what we are doing because we are in Kampala and uh, it is a place where we have tenants, people who come and others come and others go. So, newcomers sometimes they are confused, they don't know what we are doing. And later on, they oh, it's Wakaliwood, and then they, some of them they are like surprised, you know, coming. A uh, good thing that we have the chopper outside there, and it is always like a sign telling the everyone, the helicopter, "Yeah, we are. In, you are in Wakaliwood. Where you got a house is Wakaliwood. Something like that." You tur turn so left at the helicopter. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's it. You know, yeah, that's it the is Eiffel Tower. Yeah. <laughs> it's the Eiffel Tower of uh, Uganda. Yeah. <laughs> so it is. Bec I think people are proud of it. And uh, just two weeks ago someone came and said no i'm going to cancel my wife is a counselor on the council i'm going to tell her that they should make this lord they should you know make it clear and with even time or something like that because what well, is here I mean, they should make it, a, make it a tarmac not a dirt road yeah it's in respect of what that's what it, and i think he's a patriot he's a neighbor here he's a neighbor so i was so happy when he said that even if they are not going to work on it I know they're not. <laughs> but I'm happy there's someone who could appreciate. That's what I mean. If someone could appreciate what you do. Uh, f for us artists, natural artists, we need just appreciation. But I remember, you know, when I, when I began working in 2011 and 12, because I'm uh, in the West, like, it's easy for me to get meetings. And it was the, the film critic for East Africa. But he was more like theater critic and music for Kenya, Clinton, and this. And when I tried to say, like, no, you know, Wakaliwood, they're making movies in Wakaliga, and he would say, no, they don't. And I said, no, they do. And I could be on the cover of the movie, I show it to him, and he looks me in the face, no, they don't. Yeah, I, I believe there are so many critics. Uh, I've said a lot about, and I tell you, the first, the, the, the first person to tell me about Wakali uh, tones was one of the critics. Yeah. Because you said that at the time, that yeah. the critics will become the biggest fans. Yeah, so I, I was surprised when he's... Uh -huh. I was like, oh, <laughs> and he was talking about, you know, it's like he's following me. 
is following me because it is a new page which I put on Facebook and just few days without even uh, it has no it has less than 100 you know uh, followers but he's following and he's not it's not subscribed but he's following so and he was happy to see that at least we are going the step of you know cartoons so I think yes at first they didn't know what they were talking about because they were really brain I think they, they call it brainwashed they were really thinking about you know Western they are now changing the perception is changing their their, their, their mind and that has been the, my uh, uh, struggle to change the mindset of you know africans uh, to start thinking that we are all human beings no matter white no matter black uh, yes i know people like iraqi duba have been saying that singing that black or white no 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 no, no difference but uh, for us in uganda it is if you don't speak english you, you, you cannot become you know, a minister. If you don't do this, you cannot do this. It is English, it is English, everything. Everything is English. So uh, that's why I'm, I think people have now realized and uh, they can even invite me <laughs> nowadays. But uh, before, no, it, was, it wasn't you know, easy to invite me. But what do you think changed? Is it because they saw you were getting uh, fans and attention in the West? Uh, yes, that is also part of it. Uh, you know, because people here, if they see Muzungu with you, they understand that you 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 now you you are now you know a human being you are clever you are something like that. If they see with you with you or if they see Muzung covering you, I like BBC because yeah. also when, yesterday it was always ah the CNN guy, the the BBC guy. So that is uh, it is also helping. It is also helping covering and and you know uh, talking to many fans from all over the world, uh, but also. <coughs> And, uh, but also um, persistent, the, 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 the persistent, and, you know, going on, you know, working, and then because all people in villages are appreciating my works, it has, and uh, their works are not appreciated as mine are appreciated, and I'm now changing them into to VJ, you know, they are also VJing their movies. So I don't only believe that it's only the Muzungu which is changing their mind, but also the fan base of Uganda is changing their mind. It's telling them no. He is right. You should, you know, do it the his way, something like that. But that's even what happened in the West, because, like I said in the beginning, people thought you were confused or maybe they're promoting violence. But the kids understood it. Yeah. I, I, yeah. You know, children are around the world. They, they're the ones that, and also high school, the youth. Yeah. And when they saw Alex, they went crazy, and that, and that's then opened for press and BBC and all that. I think, yeah, children. Fact for me, I, 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 that's why I want to work with the children because children are going to change everything. They are the future audience, so I don't care about the thirty <laughs> percent of adults in Uganda. I, I care about the seventy percent. What? No, you know, young and youth. So uh, I, I care about that. That's why I work. Uh, that's why I work much with the workers stars uh, to change. I uh, mean to, uh, to 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 grow with their what audience and to bring that audience of you know youth, the seventy percent of Ugandans. Uh, to like me, I never saw movies in the past. I never see anyone you know making working on movies in Uganda. So why why should I you know I think about Ugandan movies? Because my agents, whenever I reach them and they say you know we have a movie here to to, to sell, they always say that nah, does Uganda make a movie? Where do you get money? How do you know how much a movie is done in in, in Europe or in in, in West? Uh, so they have at least knowledge from the from the west of how much the movie a movie is supposed to be made you you are you on foot and then you say you make a movie so you are on the movie and and you all say ah, i'm on cover i'm on, on this cover don't you see me and they say no i will not this is bogus but uh, these children when they see the, these movies for them they don't know they yeah, don't they know what they understand yeah they even don't know west what is in the west they understand and then they grow up with it and i think by the time like 10 years to come everything will be changed somehow uh, whatever is we are lacking will be changed at all. <laughs> that was the joke is that you were saying before everyone wants to die or not <laughs> i really wanted to die the whole movie and at the time you were saying no i am too valuable to life <laughs> and then i end up dying anyway <laughs> uh. so what is it this is november 2018 yeah, wow. 2008 November. All right. So what's next? Uh, yeah, it is eaten alive coming. That's right. <laughs>
Okay. Goodbye. All right. Wow.